Hello angel babies. So I am doing a video. This one is actually going to be titled um, What you should be looking out for. Okay, ancestor messages of what you should be looking out for. Now I had a deck, an older tarot deck that I'm going to be using and um, I, I also read regular playing cards and three of them were in there. Um, so there's a queen of wands. Okay. Um, that is deeply unsatisfied with some action that she has been taking. All right. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. All right. I also have the High Priestess at the bottom of the um, regular tarot deck. All right. So, <clears throat> okay. This person has the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like it wanted to pop out in the reverse, but this person is undecided. Okay. Um. They have the Wheel of Fortune on their side, so they have luck on their side, but um, they are somehow stuck being dissatisfied, all right? So let's continue. What else should you be looking out for? This person is also very, very hurt, okay? Um, this person has taken action because they are wounded, all right? They are wounded okay they've had to get through quite a bit uh, we have the queen of wands popping out again so that's double confirmation that she could be definitely dealing with a fire sign okay <clears throat> all right this person they're confident but i'm feeling like they're only confident because they they're hurt Okay, they're only confident because it's just like they can't even allow themselves to be hurt anymore. I'm almost getting like narcissistic vibes. Um, <clears throat> who? So we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Like I said, they're unsatisfied, but it's like they're holding on to something. Okay, um, I have the Death card here as well, and I also have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the Empress here. So somebody. Somebody was sowing bad seeds or unable to sow seeds, okay? Um, I don't know if... I'm almost getting that somebody had fertility issues, okay? I don't, I don't know where that's coming from. But um, this person here, it's like they're looking at a death, okay? Like they're looking at like an ending they're looking at a major ending so oh they're looking at an ending to their fertility like they're looking at an ending to their prosperity wow this person is looking at an end to um some type of something like a job so maybe this person is retiring this person is looking at like an ending to a relationship a job um, having to emotionally walk away, okay? And we also have the Magician, the Eight of Cups and the Magician. So it's like, um, <clears throat> what's at the bottom of the deck? The Chariot and the Fool is popping out of the deck. All right, and we also have the Ace of Wands popping out of the deck. So somebody is losing money and watching somebody um, move away, okay, basically. Somebody is losing um, crop. And crop is like prosperity. It's how you feed yourself. It's how you take care of yourself. It is what you offer to others. You know, it has a lot to do. Basically, pentacles just have a lot to do with how we interact with each other, okay? Because typically, the more money you have, the better of a life you have access to. So this person's getting ready to lose some type of stability, okay? Where they're not going to be able to live the life that they would like to live anymore, okay? We have the page of pentacles in the reverse, clarifying the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, this person somehow is getting some type of... Or a karmic balance has been restored with this person by them getting something taken away from them. <clears throat> For some of you, okay, um, this is going to, you know, really bring you to realize, you know, emotional fulfillment. Like, where... 
like what fills your cup up on the inside? You know, what gives you that happy, I have a happy life type of feeling, okay? Um, I think you're going to be looking at this person as a lesson of, you know, what and what not to do to reach your goal of like ultimate happiness with the Ten of Cups here. Um, and you're going to realize that you cannot prolong cycles with people, okay? Especially people who... um you know, they're, they're getting their karma, you know, like you can't prolong cycles with people that you know aren't good for you because you're going to suffer some of the repercussions of their karma is what I'm trying to say. So, um, <clears throat> King of Pentacles over in the reverse over a death card. So somebody was looking at somebody as extremely selfish. Okay. Um, because the king of pentacles in the reverse is somebody that's really selfish with their abundance, with their money. Okay. That's really selfish with, um, their ability to like give and allow others to prosper. So somebody here is suffering, okay, um, and they will have a death, probably like a spiritual death, because <clears throat> this person, this person's also going to get talked about about this. So if this person was like owed money or thought they were going to get some kind of money or something like that, um, they're going to get stabbed and the, they're getting ready to get stabbed in the back. Okay, and with it in reverse, I think they've been trying to prolong that situation for about as long as possible. Okay, because they knew. And when I got the Ten of Cups card, I felt like it was going to make somebody else happy. Like this person's downfall was going to be your happiness, but not in a in a in an energetic sense, like not that you're going to be like cheering for this person not to be able to take care of themselves because I've been homeless before. I've lived in my car before for like almost a year. It wasn't a fun experience at all. There were a lot of nights that I spent um, crying, having panic attacks, also being pregnant and like being depressed and not wanting to eat, but knowing that I have to and like halfway throwing up um, because I'm forcing myself to eat. So I, I, I'm not saying that you're going to be happy. Um, when it comes to this person being stabbed in the back. But what I'm saying is in an energetic way, since this person I feel like was taking from you and battering you, okay, with the nine of wands here, and that's coming to an end, I feel like you are going to be released, okay, from a lot of pain and a lot of unfair actions that were taken against you. And that is this person's karma. So that's why they have the wheel of fortune restored. <clears throat> because as you are ascending, this person is going on the descent, they're going on a decline. Um, we also have the eight of swords in the reverse, which I already told you, you're going to be releasing yourself from something. So um, if somebody was using you for money, okay, and not allowing you to gain any type of autonomy, <clears throat> or if um, you're in a work situation and you felt like you weren't getting paid what you were due, okay, because that does happen a lot with these companies, especially big ones and like call centers and stuff like that, um, you don't get paid what you're worth, honestly, okay? You really don't. Um, and it seems like the people who get raises and things that, you know, would further them and being financially independent, like they don't deserve it. So I feel like you were looking at this person, um, you were looking at what they have, like the people around them, you know, maybe they wore really nice clothes or something. And you're just like, wow, this person is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, a really shit person. You know what I mean? Like this is an actually really fucked up person. Like why is it that this person keeps getting getting everything <laughs> like what the fuck <clears throat> so um that is about to come to an end you're about to release yourself from not being able to um grow this person is also about to release themselves from not being able to grow um spiritually is what it seems like and in communicative areas of their life um, so like I said, you're on the, you're both on an ascension, but I don't know if this particular karmic energy is going to ascend after this process. You know what I mean? Like bad things can happen to people, but it's kind of what you do afterwards that makes, you know, <clears throat> that really puts the icing on the cake. All right. 919 when I said that, um, there is a king of swords here. 
um, over the Empress. So it is kind of like you have somebody protecting the Empress at all times, okay? Because she's the Empress, like I told y'all in the last reading. Y'all are Beyonce, okay? And we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So you're like really unburdening yourself. And we have the Fool card. I cut to the Fool again, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles was under that, okay? So, you know, it's been a long time to get to your happiness with the sun here because there's been a lot of injustice and bad decisions and, you know, you trying to come up out of confusion and all of that. But, like, <clears throat> it's really, it's really getting ready to push through, okay? This person is um getting ready to pay back their karmic debt, okay? And they have the world, they may have the world in their hands right now, but eventually spirit is going to come and balance that shit out. It's just been a long time coming. It's been a really long time coming. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, what else should my collective watch out for? What else, what else, what else, what else? These cards are like so hard to shuffle, by the way, because it's like really old and beat up i've had these cards for quite a few years and i've gotten them wet and it was a mistake okay <clears throat> you may need to watch out for somebody trying to lie to you okay i do see somebody trying to um really win at all costs really just cause you know, unnecessary pain or like trying to cause unnecessary arguments, basically. And they've been slowly building this energy, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you're dealing with, you're, you're dealing with a piece of work. The Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse wanted to pop out. So this person is like, slowly trying to offer something in order for it to be nothing Th this is like a typical narcissist tactic okay king of wands in the reverse okay um like i said it's like somebody's trying to cover up the fact before i get to the narcissistic thing I, I just got, again, somebody's trying to cover up the fact that somebody didn't give them some type of money that said that they feel like they're owed money or something like that it could be a child, okay? Maybe they feel like, you know, a child was owed money and they didn't get it. Or um, maybe this is somebody's parent owing them money and they didn't get it, okay? Because pages do speak about children. We have the King of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Or there was a King of Wands or is a King of Wands somewhere, okay? Aries Leo Sagittarius that was mad because he had to give some type of money and he had nothing to give. Okay, so take that how it resonates. That was just a random message that popped through. So <clears throat> what I was going to say about narcissistic people is that they will plot against people like they will triangulate. Okay, they will either put themselves at the top of the triangle or at the bottom. Now, the top of the triangle where the narcissist is at means that... Um, they can show themselves as the victor, as taking the high ground, as being the bigger person, as being kind of like the hero, and the other two people, you know, are bad, are negative, are evil, are this, are that, so that they can kind of shape somebody else's um, mind, body, and spirit, because that's what a triangle symbolizes, okay? So it's a form of witchcraft that um, narcissists have perfected from a past life, all right? Um so what they do is they would either make themselves look like the, the hero at the top of the triangle or they'll spin another story, okay, and at the bottom, okay, of the triangle, they are the victim and they will victimize themselves and this person did this to me and that person did that to me, okay? Um, both of these things are very narcissistic, okay? That's why they say you have overt narcissists and you have covert narcissists. Some take, some prefer not to keep an equilibrium between the two. Those are cerebral narcissists, closer to, um, I think, like um, a sociopathy, but um, I don't even know if that's what you should say about that. And this is all from research. I don't have a degree or anything. You could study this yourself. There's plenty of information in um, psychological journals um, from different universities that are available for free online to look through, okay? Um, 
But yeah, at the bottom of the triangle, they will victimize themselves. Some of them don't keep equal equilibrium between the two. They will usually pick one to operate their entire personality and behavior off of either as the victim or the hero. Um, a normal person, okay, will either look at themselves as the victim or the hero, or they will also choose the third option, which is you know, taking accountability or they'll choose the fourth option and be like, you know what, this is just a lesson. There's nothing I can do about it. Let me move on. All right. This person does not have the ability to do that. They must win at all cost. Okay. Um, four, four, four on the phone. Um, yeah, high priestess came out in the upright and a tower moment came out in the upright is also with the eight of wands. So what this person doesn't see is that they have been targeted, okay? That they have been targeted to have a very bad tower moment, okay? Now let's get clarification on what this tower moment is exactly. This tower moment may come with a relationship, okay? <clears throat> with somebody in their community. Like an action was taken by somebody in the community, okay? And somebody close to them. Yeah, you don't know about this, okay? You don't know the truth about this. So what is the truth with this tower moment? So somebody felt like they had more options than they actually did, okay? I feel like that is where this person, that's what this person is like trying to cover up because the five of swords means that somebody's trying to, you know, like blow smoke in your face. You know what I mean? Somebody's attempting to um, target you for something or use you for something, you know, use you to their advantage, okay? Um, a whole bunch of cards popped out. So we have the temperance here. So like I said, Something's getting ready to get balanced out, okay? The fact that there wasn't a previous victory before. All right, yeah, somebody didn't have a victory. Like, a um, we have the King of Pentacles popping out again. Somebody wasn't able to build some type of success. They weren't successful in um, building something or building up their funds or something like that, okay? And we have the Reverse Queen of Cups. So somebody is, like, very... Um, almost like unhinged about this this death or this ending of um, a situation. You could be dealing with like a funeral. You could be dealing with like the end of a job, honestly. Um, you could be dealing with, um, I don't know, like any so for losing a house for some of them. I don't know why I keep seeing like bankruptcy here. Yeah, two of wands. So it's like... <sighs> This person previously had a failure that needed to be balanced out, okay? A failure needed to be balanced out is what I'm seeing. Take that how it resonates. And it caused somebody a lot of emotional distress. Um, somebody could have passed away um, due to this emotional stress because they were trying to take a different route. They knew that they had the world in their hands, okay, and that they could do anything, and they were trying to do something different, okay? And I feel like that is what you didn't know. Um... Yeah, so this person was very, very stressed, okay? They were extremely stressed. Um, For some of you, okay, they were extremely stressed because they weren't... They realized that, like, something with another woman, okay, because the Queen of, Sol of, of Cups and the Queen of Wands, you know, that's two different energies. Um, They realized that somebody was, like, ice cold towards them, okay? Um... And I feel like they were also stressed about that, okay? Because somebody wanted to... Yeah, this person is ice cold. I don't know if somebody wanted to, like, come back into somebody... A union with somebody, but, you know, they were ice cold and they couldn't because I was also getting that. But this is more of, like, this um, King of Wands, okay? This possible Sagittarius person was trying to get freedom somehow, okay? Um, let's keep going. Why is the Ace of Swords in the reverse? What are we not seeing about this? So I have the Virgo in the reverse, um, which symbolizes somebody not being able to have a new beginning, somebody being in emotional turmoil with the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody was deeply, deeply depressed, okay, um, to the point where they did not even want a new start, um. I'm sorry, um, for some of you, this may be a trigger warning. This somebody wanted to commit suicide, okay? That is what I'm seeing there because the Hermit in the reverse is deep depression, deep, very deep introspection. The full card is somebody that um, is not wanting to take a risk, okay? Not wanting to um, 
not wanting to move forward, okay? Basically, not wanting to move forward, not wanting to go on, not wanting to keep going. The King of Cups um, in the reverse symbolizes somebody that's not emotionally balanced as you would be in the state of mind of being suicidal. Um, and then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles, I just realized that I read backwards. Like the cards that I should put in front, I put behind. I don't know. If that's anything that you need to be taking note of, Angel Baby, but if you happen, notice the patterns, okay? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. Notice the patterns because you're moving backwards. That's a message for somebody. Notice the patterns because you're moving backwards. Um, Ten of Wands and the Devil in the reverse. So it is like somebody picked up burdens, but they're, somebody's laying burdens to rest. Somebody's laying burdens to rest, okay? Somebody's breaking out of a karmic cycle. Um, so that could be you and this, this energy with this fire sign here. Um, honestly, I feel like these are a pair. So this could have been like a couple that you were dealing with or something like that. They were possibly both fire signs. I don't really know. But somebody decided, oh God, somebody decided that they were better off dead than alive. Okay, because there was Ace of Pentacles, there was like money involved. So I don't know if that means that there was malicious intent, but um, yeah, Knight of Swords coming at me at the bottom of the deck and the Five of Pentacles. So it's like somebody was going to leave somebody out in the cold and they wanted to hurry up and change that. But with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, it was a bad decision. Okay, it's a decision that um, broke a soul contract. Okay. Um, that is why I said this person may not learn their lesson because, you know, bad things happen to people, but I said it's what you do afterwards that really puts the icing on the cake, right? So it's like with the Knight of Wands in the reverse here, it's like this person moved too quickly. This person decided something way too quickly, all right? And it's burning them up. It's like eating them up on the inside, okay? Yeah, the magician in the reverse. So it's like some kind of action, okay, that was done, that was underhanded, all right, is getting ready to really burn somebody, all right? But somehow you're still going to end up getting your your, like financial independence or that new job that you know good prosperous nurturing um kind of energy okay um for some of you you might be dissatisfied with this offer and choose to um not take it okay with the queen of pentacles in the reverse for others of you you may squander this okay or somebody is worried about you <coughs> excuse me oh my third is dry i really need something to drink <clears throat> Hold on, just a second. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> okay, that's a little better. Oh, sorry, and my throat just was like dry, and it started cracking, and I was like, "Good lord, let me let me do something about that." <laughs> um, for others of you, somebody was worried about you squandering some type of money. Okay. Um, we also have the lovers here. So, yeah, like somebody's, this is really like somebody's divine counterpart that got stuck with the karmic energy and that cycle is getting ready to close out, okay? Um, Knight of Swords, yeah. So this death was, um, I think this relationship, like the death of this relationship was not foreseen, okay? I don't think it was foreseen. I think that, um... For some of you, you saw that something was wrong or something wasn't going to go right within this relationship, whether it's you being the third party and you're looking at this from the outside, okay? Like if it's like a friend or a family member, you know, like a sibling and somebody else, because that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Like it's like your best friend's relationship or that you knew wasn't going to work out because you know how that goes. You know, your friend comes to you and you're like, hey, I'm talking to this guy and you start asking questions and by like the fifth question, you're like, eh this isn't gonna work you know like one of those situations okay um but there's major transformation here that was tried th that this person tried to put to a halt okay or try to tell you to put to a halt um in some type of way because it was tying them up so it's like somebody 
somebody made a bad decision, okay? Somebody made a bad decision to get with the karmic energy that, like, really made them feel, like, bound um, to this person, okay? They weren't really sure of what to do, but they felt like the situation was hurting them, and they were very emotionally, like... They weren't satisfied. They weren't satisfied at all. And um, with the chariot here in the reverse, this person was unable to move forward to get to their victory. Okay? Um, they weren't able to achieve happiness, all right, with this person. Um, so I feel like that is a message that also needs to go out. I do feel, though, that if somebody tried to leave a situation, because the chariot was there, which means that, like, things were in motion for this person to leave, but... um. You know, they just ultimately, like, felt stuck, like, felt like they had to stay or felt like they had nowhere else to go. A lot of times when you get with somebody that's, like, a narcissist, okay, they really do mentally entrap you. They really do abuse you to the point where, you know, you've cut off your family, you know, you've cut off your friends, you've cut off... Um, just about everything that you love and care about, you've given up your hobbies because this person would rather spend time with you in a way that they want to spend time with you versus, you know, what you want to do. You have cut off, you know, doing simple things that you like to do to the point where you don't really recognize yourself, to the point where you realize, you know, you try to reach out and talk to somebody, but you've burned so many bridges, okay, trying to keep this narcissist in your life that you, um... You know, that you don't really have anybody anymore. So I see somebody that left a divine union to get with a karmic energy that was also a narcissistic, like, kind of succubus type um, energy vampire energy, all right? And 2555 on my phone, um, 555. So this person had to drastically change this. So they broke a soul contract with the Empress, okay, because they needed to go off and learn a lesson. Spirit was presenting them with a lesson that they could not pass. All right. Um, so I feel like this person is still, if this person hasn't passed, because I was getting huge, like, funeral energy, um, this person is still with this person, okay? Yeah, this person is still there, and you are free. You're free of that soul contract so that you can go out and have a new start. All right, so um, the spiritual union between these two twin flames will be permanent separation um, for quite some time. Yeah, tower moment was that this person was trying to hold on to you as much as possible, but this other energy, this karmic energy was in the way. So I do feel like maybe you guys were communicating at some point during this cycle, but it was just very painful to continue to communicate with this person knowing that, you know, they were with this, this other person. <clears throat> just very difficult. So let's continue. Because we're making good time. Um, for those of you that some of my readings don't resonate, like, not every reading is going to resonate with you because there's more people in the world than just you listening to my channel. So let's really put ourselves into perspective and pay attention to that because, um, huh, some people are kind of forgetting that they're not the only one out there in the world, like, getting a tarot reading that is general, by the way. Someone is, um... I feel like someone's not taking action to have a victory or they're not taking action about, yeah, somebody was like nervous that there, somebody wasn't taking action to get a victory, but in reality, this person was healing, okay, healing their emotional body from bad childhood memories, okay, working, yeah, and this person felt like this person was just on hold this entire time, so, um, I feel like somebody's twin flame, okay, this twin flame in separation is trying to tell you that, you know, they were working on themselves, all right, um, but, you know, this person didn't really have compassion for you working on yourself, or this person feels like you, Angel Baby, didn't have compassion for them trying to work on themselves, okay, they felt kind of abandoned, like they had burned a bridge, this person was also, like, very insecure, and they tried to keep that a secret, because they... Um, they, you know, they didn't want to work on themselves. I do feel like this person, um, yeah, we have the magician. This person did try to cover up the fact that, you know, they were really not so independent. Okay. They were not so put together. All right. Um, 
And I feel like it may have worked for a time, but, you know, you see that now. You see that this person was trying to, you know, get to their happiness, possibly try to apologize, possibly try to move forward and hold on to whatever soul contract it is that you had. But this person was unable to come forward and do this, so they chose just not to resurrect the situation. Um, and that kind of has you on the defense, but the good thing is you are out of the devil energy. You have a lot of options and a lot of joy ahead of you, all right? Continue to, like, introspect is what I'm getting. Continue to, you know, cut people off where you need to. <laughs> um, with the Page of Pentacles, you have something that's dependable being offered to you. It may be small right now, but it can grow, Okay. Um, continue to, you know, like guard yourself from haters. Okay. Try to, you know, control your anger. Um, for some of you, you have a king of swords here that previously caused you a tower moment. Okay. Um, or this person, I feel like this is your twin flame though. Like they caused you this tower moment and now they are gone. Okay. Like now it's something that you can look at as, you know, I have victory over this situation. I can get over this situation. All right. Like I can, you know, heal myself. I can be okay and not have to, you know, so much worry about, you know, having to emotionally walk away from something that may not be working. You know, like I feel like your twin flame is kind of encouraging you to continue to build your um build yourself up like like don't feel bad because of what they've done to you all right just continue to keep it pushing basically so you know they say that your twin flame can send you love through the ethers i guess that's what this one is doing they're trying to heal some pain all right and take some knives out of your back okay um and change some things around okay basically um, changing your name around is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I, I don't know. That, that was weird. Okay. Changing your name around. Maybe that, maybe this person wanted to marry you or something and it didn't work out. I'm getting a huge vibe for that. Cause I'm like, change your name around. When would you need to do that? Um, yeah, you have the page of cups here. This person really did want to apologize, okay? They wanted to tell you that they have, um, oh, the seven of pentacles, that they have something to offer you, something that's been growing, okay, that they want to offer you or to keep growing, okay? We also have the two of cups here. So it's like this person is sending you love and we have the ace of pentacles. So somebody um, planted a seed, okay, that has grown into a nice amount, okay? Like I said, it could be... Um, some form of like, you know, prosperity or something like that, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, eight of wands here. So again, this person really does love you. Makes one passionate towards God. Okay, the moon. So what you're not seeing is that you will have a victory and you will be able to, you know, be free. <laughs> All right, King of Cups. Yeah, this person, um, truth and justice, protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune. Yeah, somebody was trying to secretly steal what it was that you have. Okay, I was getting big vibes on that. Like you were owed something, or you know, um, like maybe your twin flame owes you some money, okay, and you never got it, but they're trying to tell you that maybe like they're working on it, or they're trying to tell you that they've stole from you in some kind of way. I have no idea. But I was getting big theft vibes, okay? Like, I don't know. When it comes to relationships, you have access to um, people's, um, you know, socials and things like that because you live with that person. So, mm, may want to watch out for that, okay? Um, it does look a bit identity thefty. I'm not going to lie. Um, longevity protects against infirmities, okay? Divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy, okay? So I feel like, um, whatever it is that you need to say that you've been keeping on the inside, you need to release that, okay? Um, with the moon side, whatever it is that you need to say, you need to go ahead and release it is what they are saying and set your emotional body free, restitution, finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible king of cups so the moon signifies cancer i don't know why i was going to say pisces <laughs> but the moon card here nine of pentacles 
So somebody is trying to submission to higher order, identifies traitors and destroys their plans. So somebody's trying to do something in secret. Somebody's planning on doing something in secret, okay? Um, rectify. Rectification helps one live in peace with everyone, four of wands. So somebody's going to be coming to you with a message saying that, possibly a cancer, saying that somebody has stole money from you, okay? That is something I'm getting very strong from the ancestors right now. All right, in the world card, fountain of wisdom, give success in all ventures. So somebody was also trying to secretly steal your spiritual gifts or your money or something like that. Four of cups, healing capacity, protection from we weapons and safety and travel. Somebody was trying to steal your money so they can get away. Desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. Yeah, and see on this card, it's like casting people out. Okay, like somebody was trying to, you know, five of swords you, okay? This was the plan all along. You desired to know. So you probably had a feeling that something was up, all right? You probably had a few accusations, okay, um, on people. And um, Spirit is telling you that this, yeah, Archangel Metatron, these people are being watched by the angels. Advancement and progress teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. They're being monitored by the Most High. They're being monitored by the Most High. That is what the ancestors want to get you to know, is that they're being monitored by the Most High, and this isn't going to work. They made a quick decision with the Knight of Swords, or you made a quick decision to protect yourself and prevent discovery of crime, saves exiles. Oh, my God. So somebody committed some type of crime. That's a real big crime, okay? Who is this spirit? A king of wands. Somebody stole somebody's money. Somebody stole the king of wands money. Okay. Yes, the moon card again and the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody stole somebody's money or somebody's prosperity or somebody's like spiritual gifts or something. Somebody stole it. Somebody stole it. Is that why this person had to claim bankruptcy? Because somebody stole money? Gives answers to those in doubt. Guys, angel babies, I cannot. Please clarify this. Oh my god. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Why would somebody steal somebody's money? Yeah, the world, somebody's stuck in a cycle. They don't have the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like somebody made a bad decision, okay? Somebody was indecisive about some money or something. With the Ten of Pentacles, the star, this is Aquarius energy, healing, all right? We have the four of um, cups in the reverse and the three of pentacles. This is somebody that did this in your community and a cancer is going to be telling you about this. A cancer is going to be telling you about this. And there's a possible, I don't know why I'm hearing Pisces, but there's like an, a, a possible, um, vic there's a victory coming after this. Because you have the Six of Wands. There's a victory. And it's like this angel here after the victory card. The same angel that I got in the other reading is like taking some angry person's head off. God the protector and savior. Somebody, yeah, truth and justice. Protection from enemies who would steal from one's fortune. So if you've been praying for protection, praying for your enemies to like be bound, praying for, you know, things to be okay, it, it's working. It, it, it is definitely working. Archangel Metatron is all up in this thing. Seven of Wands, liberation, deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. Somebody's going to be coming forward to you with some type of information, okay? And it's just going to crack. I'm hearing it's going to crack the ceiling open for everybody. It's going to crack the ceiling open for everybody. I'm seeing, like, police being involved. I'm sorry. I know this reading, like, moved around. A lot, but like when you channel energy and a bunch of justice, seven of wands. I I can't make this shit up. Justice makes truth known in court, causes innocence to pre prevail. Liberation, deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. I told you somebody may be going to jail for this. Somebody committed identity fraud by signing and moving somebody's name around or something like that. Somebody committed identity fraud. Uh, 
Oh, God. Archangel Metatron in the Seven of Wands again. You just heard me shuffle this. Deliverance. Liberation from enemies, both visible and invisible. Advancement and progress. Teaches guides the and records and records events in the book of life and records events in the book of life records records why did i say it like that records somebody's going through somebody's records somebody's going through somebody's records right now seven of wands the wheel of fortune is coming to somebody okay it's coming. It's coming. It's caused a lot of confusion so far. It's been a lot of disagreements and arguments and stuff like that. But it's coming. I cannot. That message came through so strong. Oh, and this landed on the floor. So you have a queen of swords in the reverse, okay? And a king of wands in the reverse. So it's like... Eloquence gives answers to those in doubt. Ritual and ceremony can require all the treasures of heaven and earth. Somebody did a death ritual on somebody, okay? Somebody did some type of ritual on somebody. Ten of Cups. Divine warrior confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. Somebody's getting ready to get stabbed in the back. Like, I can feel it. Somebody's getting ready to get stabbed in the back. Oh, shit. That's a lot. Nine of Pentacles. This keeps coming up. Submission to higher order identifies traitors and destroys their plans. Somebody, is there an Aquarius here? Is somebody that has Aquarius in their chart? Nine of Wands, universal medicine, elevation of the soul, and the revelation of mysteries. So this is the truth about somebody. Somebody's plan to hurt somebody. We have two nines here, so it's over. Ten of Pentacles popped out in the reverse. Inner and outer work helps one keep their job, protects against disaster. So somebody, the answers just want to warn you about this. Eight of Wands, somebody unfairly targeting you. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody is unfairly targeting you. They're trying to keep you stuck. Ace of Cups. Page of Wands. Okay, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody was trying to figure out how to keep you stuck. How to keep you <laughs> dependent on them. The Hierophant in the reverse. And they broke their soul contract because of it. Because of it. So this person that you were dealing with, Angel Baby, was just very, very controlling. It's probably why the relationship didn't work out. This person also probably financially abused you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles popping out here. But you're going to get your money back. You're going to get your money back. Three of Swords. Yeah, this person stabbed you in the back. They stabbed you in the heart, too. Divine blessings drives away evil spirits, rules, agriculture, and production. Yeah, this person's going to have to produce. They're going to have to produce something. Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers of men of law. Ten of Wands. <coughs> the humiliating God. Somebody's getting ready to be humiliated. Who is getting ready to be humiliated? Please give me a sign. The Ten of Cups. It's going to be an emotional humiliation, okay? An emotional humiliation. Divine warrior confounds the wicked, brings victory and peace. Didn't I say that this narcissist was in, like, warrior energy, okay? That they, you know, operate out of a very um, hurt space. I'm getting a lot of water sign energy, Knight of Cups. Perception and revelation discovers hidden treasure, reveals secret... Secrets of nature. Yeah, they were villain secrets, all right. The moon. Didn't I say this? Cancer. I said it was a water sign, okay? And this is Gabriel. Gabriel's coming through with a message. Divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy. There's a cancer that knows something. The world. Foundation. Fountain of wisdom gives success in all ventures. There is a cancer that knows something. Five of Cups, Prosperity, Destruction of the Enemy, and Deliverance from Bondage. There's a Cancer that knows something, 4343 on the phone. Um, there's a Cancer that knows something about this backstabbing, okay? Of, like, somebody owing you money or this person, your, um, 
twin that you're no longer in or you are in separation with owing you money and committing some type of identity fraud against you okay somebody knows something and you're getting ready to get a message from it because archangel gabriel popped out okay they did not come to play with you yeah a page of pentacles in the reverse king of swords tower moment failure of trying to hold on to something that's not that wasn't theirs working hard oh my god some of the ancestors were trying to work hard to tell you this but anyway that's my personal reading i hope this resonated with you if not it just wasn't the video for you and i will see you next time